Hey everybody, it's Captain C.A. Richardson from the Florida Keys uh, with another episode of Captain C.A. on the fly. Now, again, like I always like to do, I like to give you a, a fishing tip or, in this case, a product review on something new for tarpon season uh, in every one of these videos. But first, I want to get your attention and bring up a few things I want you guys to uh, tune into. One, are you guys watching Flats Class YouTube? We have tons of videos on Flats Class YouTube now, and all of them are teaching videos where we teach you how to fish. So subscribe, I need you there. Also, hopefully everyone is starting to watch Flats Class on waypointtv.com instead of the traditional linear networks. Yes, we will remain on those linear networks like Fox Sports South and Sun, but I really want you guys to watch us consistently on Waypoint TV because I can measure those numbers. Lastly, I want to remind everyone, every Monday night on Instagram Live, you can communicate with yours truly one-on-one. -on -one. This is your opportunity. Now, we eventually will put these on Flats Class YouTube's channel, but for now, we're just doing them live. So every Monday night at 7.30 p.m., I got to get you guys to watch this. Ask the questions. Tarpon season's coming up, and we want to start having themes for these events. So every Monday night, you have your shot. And in the next coming weeks, I promise you, we're gonna have more and more tips on how to catch tarpon, okay? Now let's get to this product review. So here it is. This is my new crab box where I'm gonna store crabs for the 2019 tarpon season. This is what's really nice about this crab box that separates it from all others. Not only is it gonna hold over 100 crabs, but it has double wall construction. So if you look in here just right, you'll see that there's two walls. And the biggest problem that we have when we keep crabs in a cage is the fact that sheep's head and pinfish and everything else will eat the legs off your crabs and they don't last very long. This box is going to allow me to put 100 crabs in there and they're gonna stay in much better shape. It's well ventilated. It's got really small holes compared to the half inch holes that you get everywhere else. These are just quarter inch mesh holes. So plenty of water is going to go through them, yet you're still going to be able to keep your crabs aerated as long as you put this where the flow is. Now they've attached a, a cord to this, but I would suggest always attaching two. This is a well, well made cord, but I'd, I'd go ahead and clap, put two in there. Uh, he's pop riveted. At r and Tackle, he's pop riveted all this stuff up on top. It's very sturdy. It's got a lock on it. All you got to do is turn it and put it up. If you want to put a bungee across the top, you could to double secure secure the, bit, the, uh, the cage. But in my opinion, this is a fantastic idea. And if you're looking at keeping, you know, 50 to 100 crabs alive to, to tarpon fish this, this summer, I mean, you want, they're expensive, especially if you're buying them and you're not dipping them yourself. You really need to consider getting one of these cages from r and r tackle now i'll put the link below where you can get one of these things and listen guys i do not get endorsed by this group uh, ray rocher is a friend of mine but i wanted this unit uh, so that i could i could have it for myself because i saw the difference last year with how many crabs i was losing um, to just fish eating the legs off them so if you're looking for something to keep your crabs very healthy this year catch more tarpon they Bait is valuable and bait is money. Pick up one of these at r, r Tackle. So I hope that product review really revealed the value of buying a quality crab cage. I can't tell you how much money this is gonna save me this year. If I can save on average a dozen to two dozen crabs every week because the legs aren't getting eaten off them, that equates to over $150. Really, it, it does. And over the whole season, it's hundreds of dollars. So if you're looking uh, to, to save some crabs and have some frisky baits to throw a tarp in this season, you really got to consider that r, r crab cage. It's a winner. I promise you I wouldn't be promoting it if not. All right, before I let you go, what are you going to do next Monday night? You're going to watch me on Instagram Live on Monday Night Fishing. Thanks, guys, for tuning in to another episode of Captain CA on the fly right here from the Florida Keys.